This is Mr. Suleiman uh, Osman, General Manager Licensing for Shell Global Solutions. Um, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. And thank you for uh, sharing with us your knowledge. So let me begin by asking very briefly, tell us something about your company. What does Shell Global Solutions do and what, is it has, what does it have to offer the oil and gas industry? Okay, Shell Global Solution is a division of Shell that, that is made of 4,900 experts that serves not only our own refining downstream, upstream industry, but also third party. Then in general, around 75% of the time we spend is serving our own assets, which is our own refineries, which is over 40 refineries. In but the world. In the world but also our JVs and also evaluate new projects that we want to invest and, and decide uh, and make recommendations to the Shell company on how to implement and to decide. And the rest of the time is to offer our services to the third parties. And as a slogan, what we really like to do is to share our knowledge. The industry needs the knowledge of a companies like ours. You have independent small refineries who don't have the backup of a corporate research, a corporate service organization, and they come to us. Uh, we have even larger companies who have, over the years, not uh, kept a large technical service or consultancy group. They come to us. Then we offer services going from consultancy that includes increasing your reliability, energy saving, to the other extreme, which is technology, by licensing technology to improve the performance of your refinery, meeting the clean fuel restrictions, uh, at the same time uh, reducing emissions, at the same time being able to, uh, to process more difficult crudes, because these days refineries want to be very flexible in buying a different type of crudes, and you need to upgrade your refineries to be able to process some of these crudes. Okay. Then we are an organization that services Shell and the third party in the industry. Right, right. So, what is your area of specialization and how would companies benefit from your expertise? Now, my, my background and, and the strength of my team is that we are experts in, in delivering new and state-of-the-art technology to the industry. Uh, the industry is looking to have a more efficient processes to, let's say, upgrade product to high-value product that has low sulfur specs, or uh, you have uh, feedstocks that nobody wants anymore, like fuel oil of bottom of the barrel, and is to convert it to a better product. And what we have as an expertise is designing these units, coming up with the latest type of catalyst that will be allowed to do the conversion we want and also develop equipment that we call reactor internals that will make the reactors very efficient. Then it's really driving to the most efficient process units that the refineries will benefit. Are there companies out there that do this as well and how do you compare with those companies? Okay, there are other people, there are other companies who do that, and it's, it's good that we, we bring variety to the, to the market. We, the advantage we have is that we are an operating company. We are the ones that are also using the same. We're also improving it, and, and the stuff that we are keeping on, on supporting this, this project are day-to-day -day also seeing the same issues and solving the same problem in our own operation. Then we are a refiner to a refiner operation. That's the biggest advantage we have. As we are also very big in our own areas like the catalyst business, we invest heavily on, on development of new products. Then, then, then our strength is, in one way, we know to operate a refinery. At the same time, we produce the best catalyst in the market and also some technology called reactor internals. And a combination of that, we, we face our clients who are happy to get what we offer, sure. uh, but we are also complementary to each other in the business. There are other people who have other services they provide. But we are an operating company who is providing technical delivery, technology delivery to other refiners. Now, if I was a, uh, if I own a refinery yes. and, uh, and I had to compete against Shell, why would I trust you? Why would I call you in to, to, do, to upgrade my plants and then you, you get to know what I'm doing in my uh, refinery? It's a very good question. 
Really good question. We are now in an area of the world where we need each other in exchanging know-how. Yes, I might learn from them, but they might even learn more from me. Then we are in this world of win-win when exchanging knowledge. If we all had closed each other our gates in the industry and not sharing, we will not have benefited. Emissions, we all care about it. Competition or not competition. Uh, saving energy, we all care about it. Having in the market the best product, we all care about it. Then it's really a win-win situation. It's, a, it's not a one-way. And we, we enjoy this win-win situation where we benefit from each other. And it's not always the financial exchange, but it's know-how exchange. Okay. Yeah. Now in Asia, who are you targeting to sell your services to? And if you can, would you like to name some of your clients okay. who are not shell companies? Okay, in, in Asia, we mainly, we mostly deal with all the big companies, you know, a lot of national companies. And the companies that are well known that we are servicing include Petronas, Pertamina, uh, the PTT Group, uh, PetroChina, Sinoc in China, IOCL, Reliance. We are all with all these companies that are well known by you and, uh, and in the public. And we have in different levels, in certain, if you take China, PetroChina, we have licensed technologies and we have provided catalysts. Same thing with Sinoc. Same thing uh, with Reliance, we have supplied many catalysts. Uh, we have signed a contract with IOCL last year. The PTT and per, uh, Petronas, we have provided consultancy service and technical service as much as also the, uh, new technologies. So these are indigenous companies? Yes. None of them from the Western majors? Uh, no, the, we do, if you take Western uh, majors like Exxon, yes, we have not provided consultancy or technology, but we have provided uh, outside of Asia catalyst to them. Right. Yes. Okay. Now, last year, your company won the Petroleum Economist Clean Energy Award for Clean Ma and Energy Management uh, Program. Yes. For your program, that is. Yeah. What is this price about and why do you think your company uh, wanted that award? Um, as I, I, was, I was saying earlier, our, our company is uh, looking into consulting, helping our clients, even if sometimes you call them our competitors, to reduce the energy consumption. Anytime you reduce uh, your energy consumption, we diffuse less CO2 to the atmosphere. And we have a, a major program called the Energize program that uh, allowed to give us to study what the refineries were doing and give them a way of improving their energy. And that energy saving has gone between 2 to 10% of the energy they were consuming. And if you add all these the projects we have done, I see a note in front of me that says we were able to advise for the saving up to 0.8 million tons of CO2 per year or the equivalent of 0.3 million tons of fuel. And for your clients. For our clients. And this is equivalent, it says, 160,000 uh, hot air balloons filled, filled with CO2 and 2,000 road tankers filled with fuel. Right then I think the industry has appreciated what we have done in, in helping the industry to save energy, less CO2 out there and less fuel consumption.